Hey, what's going on DDO players? Axel here. So today we're going to talk about domain choice and choosing your cleric's domain. So I'm going to go through all the domains and give my tips and opinions on domain choice for all types of clerics, melee clerics, caster clerics, healbot clerics, tank clerics, everybody. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about healbots first. So Domain choice for healbots. So healbot clerics are going to be your clerics that just focus on healing. In my opinion, kind of a boring type of cleric because you know you're you're going to be piking a lot, but they have their place. High Reaper people love healbots. You know raiders love healbots. So if you're running a healbot, the main thing you should look for from a domain is survivability. The first domain we need to talk about is one I think is actually. A trap and one you shouldn't take as a healing cleric and that is healing domain so healing domains get healing domain gets a, a little extra positive spell power you get cure model runes sla panica sla and a little bit of spell reduction from empower healing meta magic uh, some healing amp bonuses on turn but the thing about uh, healing domain is that you already have enough positive spell power through radiant servant and other enhancements you know if you go on exalted angel as your epic destiny the cure moderate wounds sla you already get from radiant servant you have a lot of other sla healing options again like the slas from the exalted angel epic destiny for example not to mention say your radiant servant turning abilities and overall, you're going to benefit a lot more as a healbot from building for survivability with your domain because a dead healing cleric can't heal. So if you want to focus only on healing, you also need to focus on being very, very tough, being able to stay alive. Okay, so that's why I would pass on healing domain. But I see tons of caster cleric or tons of healbot clerics take healing domain. In my opinion, it's not a great choice. Okay, uh, the one uh, domain that I want to talk about for healbot clerics that I think it's probably the best option in my opinion is animal dom domain so animal domain is great for heal bots because you get a whopping 300 extra heal uh, hit points assuming that you're a level 20 cleric and you also get plus 10 to your reflex save assuming you're a level 20 cleric so that's pretty freaking awesome not to mention you get uh, on turn you, you and your party gets extra extra constitution so plus 10 constitution so that's more survivability on turns so that's pretty great but overall again as a heal bot you want survivability so the extra hit points the extra constitution that's really really great uh, another one that i think is a pretty good alternative for a heal bot is luck domain so luck domain i i think animal domain is probably better but you get some cool things with luck domain. So you get a displacement SLA. Maybe you haven't crafted a bunch of green stole clickies and you want access to that displacement. Awesome spell, obviously for survivability, get 50% uh, concealment bonus. So that's awesome uh, to enemy mischance. You get the ability to no longer fail your saving throws on a roll of one. So that's pretty awesome. You also get uh, half cleric level to saves when using your turn undead. So, you know, some nice survivability stuff here in luck domain for heal, heal bot clerics, but overall probably animal domains better. I mean, having more hit points is usually the best way to survive on uh, in DDO. So yeah, so I would probably go animal, but luck domain is a viable art alternative should you want that. Okay, next, that's about it for your healbot clerics, as there aren't tons of choices. Next, we'll move on to melee clerics who also melee clerics uh, who also don't have a lot of domain choices either. So within melee clerics, we have tanking clerics, so clerics who want to build to actually like tank raids and stuff, or and we also have DPS melee clerics. So that would be any of your two-handed fighting, two-weapon fighting, single-weapon fighting, or tactics clerics. So first, let's talk about cleric, uh, cleric tanks. So specifically AC tanks. So if you want to go for a cleric tank and you want to go for AC, I think your best domain is going to for sure be protection domain. With protection domain, you get some nice SLAs for survivability. You get radiant force field SLA reduces your damage by 25% while the spell is active. Really nice for survivability. You get at level 14, your armor class and PRR rating are increased by your cleric level. So that's plus 10, 20 to your AC. So awesome AC bonuses, not to mention you get plus one to AC, PRR, and MRR uh, at level two, plus an additional at uh, level five, 10, 15, and 20. So that's more AC, more PRR, 
So a lot of survivability stuff here. Also, you get the shield oscillate, very nice, and PRR and MRR bonuses when you uh, use your turns. So if you want a little tanking cleric, protection domain is pretty much going to be your choice. Another choice, again, would be animal domain just for the extra hit points. But if you're really going to be tanking, you really want to go for AC in particular, probably want to go protection domain. Uh, so let's talk now about your DPS melee cleric. So again, this would be two-handed fighting, two-weapon fighting, single-weapon fighting, or tactics clerics. The best choice for most is going to be war domain. Uh, war domain is great because you get just tons of stuff. So if you're into tactics at level nine, you get you get plus. If you're a level twenty cleric, you get plus ten to tactical DCs. Um, or if you're not level twenty, it would be half your cleric level. You also, uh, most importantly, you get the Holy Sword SLA. So what Holy Sword does is it give you, gives you a competence bonus of plus one to your critical range and critical multiplier. So that's just amazing. That's the best way uh, clerics have to access a uh, boost to your weapon's critical profile. Now it is worth noting that the War Priest tree in Core 4 does give some bonuses. So Core 4 gives a plus one critical range bonus, but only for favored weapons. And notice that in the core four of War Priest, you only get the critical range bonus. Unlike Holy Sword, where you get both the critical range plus one and the critical multiplier plus one. So that's something important to note. So you can make up some of what you lose in Holy Sword by losing Holy Sword if you don't go War Domain by investing core four War Priest, but you still don't get as many bonuses because you still won't be able to get the plus one critical multiplier. Okay. In addition to this, you get proficiency with all weapons, all martial, all martial and exotic weapons, and you're not going to be able to access that uh, on any other domain. You're not going to have proficiency outside of whatever your favorite weapon is, unless say you like splash fighter or something to get proficiencies. Uh, so, yeah. So that's another obvious advantage to war domain. So I think for most any kind of DPS war tactics cleric, you're one going to go. War domain for either the tactics bonus or the DPS bonus from Holy Sword or both. Okay, um, next let's talk about strength domain. So strength domain I don't think is as good as war domain generally, but uh, it's not bad alternative and it's going to be the domain you'll want for certain, I would say probably more niche builds, but it does have some really nice, uh, really nice bonuses to it. So one really nice thing about strength domain is you get strength-based reflex save. So at level five, your reflex saving throws are now based on strength instead of dexterity if it is higher. So you can, if you're going strength, which is the standard stat for hit and damage on a melee, you can also power your reflex saves with your strength. So that saves you from having to invest into dexterity to get a high reflex save. So what this domain really appeals to would be if say you want to splash monk or rogue to get evasion because then you can power evasion which evasion is to make evasion good you need a good reflex save and you can power that by using strength not having to invest in dexterity to get that high reflex save so if you have evasion you want to have evasion on your cleric i think strength remains probably how, where you want to go or at least it's a really good option some other nice effects uh, you get become immune to knockdown effects and you always make your throw against stun effects some nice survivability stuff here you also get strength, uh, the ability to restore all ability score damage to strength, which is a nice perk as well. Just keep in mind, if you are going for DCs, you may look at this and say, oh, okay, well, I can go get the go uh, this domain because I'll get more strength and, and be able to power, say, something like Stunning Blow with this. But I still think you're, you're going to be better off going War just because War Domain, you're going to get the plus, um, plus one for every two Cleric levels to your Tactics DCs. So you'll be able to get, say, like plus 10 to Tactics at Cleric level 20, for example. So probably, maybe not in all cases, but you're probably still, if you're going Tactics, wanting want to go with your uh, War Domain Cleric. Okay, let's talk about the last melee domain, which is destruction. So destruction domain, not a fan of. I don't think it's very good. I think it's by far the worst choice for a melee domain. Uh, the problem, the, the whole appeal of strength domain is that you can cast cleric spells while raging if you have destruction domain. But being able to cast while raging isn't really all that compelling. There aren't too many things accessible to clerics that are worth raging for. I mean, the the one thing I can think of is maybe half orc orcish rage, which does which will work with destruction domain. But uh, I, I mean that that is pr a pretty good um, action boost there if you're going half orc cleric. But uh, you can also uh, access say like uh, the ability to rage while casting 
through other means. So specifically the uh, tier two of the uh, Draconic Epic Destiny. So you can access that post 20. So if you want to get the ability to cast while raging, you can still get it through other means. And say something like Half Orc or Orcus Rage is an action boost. So it's going to share a cooldown with other action boosts. So you can't use that if you're using like, say, Haste Boost, for example, from uh, something like Vistani. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Also, the thing about Destruction Domain is a lot of the... A lot of the boosts here just aren't very good, like durability damage for items, who cares? Improved destruction, okay. I mean, double, plus three double strike, plus five percent strike through, eh, I mean, nice, but compared to Holy Sword, no. You know, not not nearly as good. Um, so yeah, that's Destruction Domain. I wouldn't recommend it. I think the intention for Destruction Domain was for there to be some synergy with Barbarian, I guess, to do some kind of Barbarian Cleric multi-class build, but I've never really seen anyone do that. If you have run a character like that and found, found it very effective, please post it below. Uh, tell me about it, because I would be interested in hearing about it, but I've never really seen anyone do that. All right, so let's continue on now. Let's talk about Caster Clerics. So Caster Clerics have by far the most domain choice. Most of these domains that you have to choose from are Caster Domains. And caster, the, the, the domain you choose for your caster domain for your caster is going to depend on what type of caster you want. So are you going to build a death cleric with necromancy focus? You're going to build evocation, nuking cleric. Uh, do you want to build enchantment, crowd control cleric? It all depends on what you want to do. I would say most clerics are going to be evocation nukers or death domain clerics that want to uh, use necromancy. But since we're so I just brought it up, let's just talk about death domain. So. Death Domain is the first one we'll talk about here for casters, and I think it's the easy choice if you want an instico cleric, a death cleric. So say you want to use like spells like uh, like destruction or inflict um, you know moderate wounds, spells like that, because you get bonuses to your necromancy spells, so plus one to the DC of your necro spells, and that increases by one at cleric level six, twelve, and eighteen. So a lot of DCs for necro, really good. Really, the really, really nice thing is you get a destruction insta kill SLA at level 14. Also, immunity to energy drain. Very, very nice. So, a really, really good domain to go to domain if you're going to play an insta kill cleric. You, you're going to want to go death domain. It's also worth noting that uh, death domain is probably what you want to choose if you want to really max out your turning ability and you want to be a turning cleric. Not that that's very popular these days. Uh, turning particularly falls off at the higher levels of DDO, but if you want to go with a turning cleric, this is the only domain that gets additions to cleric turning levels. So death domain, you get plus two to your effective cleric level to turn undead and plus two to the hit dice of undead affected. Uh, keep in mind, other S other domains do get bonuses to, say, expand the number of mobs you can turn. So you can say, like, for example, like, Air Domain, for example, gives you the ability to use Turn on Dead on Elementals. So other domains do give the ability to expand kind of the pool of monsters you can turn, but Death Domain is the only one that gives bonuses to your actual Cleric levels for turning and Hit Dice for turning. All right, so next let's go to your Nuker, you know, Evocation style Caster Cleric. And I think there's a ton of options. Uh, this is Evocation Caster is probably like the default way to build a, a Cleric period in the most popular way. My opinion, my favorite option is going to be Fire Domain. So with Fire Domain, it's really good because you can synergize this with Tiefling. And if you run a Tiefling and use Fire Spells, you get this unique ability that uh, clerics aren't going to have access to any other way, but tieflings can strip fire immunity with their Scorch SLA in the tiefling tree. Um, so that means that your fire spells will, can, can literally work on any enemy. So you don't have to worry, say, if you're fighting devils, you can throw your Scorch SLA, then throw down your Firestorm SLA anyways, and kill everything. So it's really nice. Fires are really good. Spell power type 2 that there aren't, like, I wouldn't say there's a lot of stuff immune to fire. I mean, obviously there's some, but fire is a really good spell type in DDO. But you get some awesome SLS and fire domain, which is why I, I, I think it's so good. You get Firestorm, which uh, a lot of these cleric spells were buffed recently. So Firestorm is an amazing spell now. Like stuff, you just th throw this huge um, nuking SLA that has an AOE uh effect and everything just dies wall of fire really good aoe that will give uh continual damage so it lasts quite a long time but wall fire is a great great uh, sla as well scorching ray will be useful 
But yeah, uh, Firestorm is like great. The ability to tie this with Tiefling super great. So I I, I think Fire Domain's awesome. Okay, uh, let's move on. Um, also with with this domain, you get the ability to use either Light or Fire spell power. Um, let's continue. Okay. Another really popular domain for Evocation Casters is going to be Sun Domain. So Sun Domain gives some really nice SLAs as well. You get the Sun Burst and Sun Beam. There's a lot of synergy with the Divine Disciple tree. Keep in mind that the Searing Light SLA does share a cooldown with the Divine Disciple SLA, but still, uh, it's going to be really nice to just be able to light nuke everything. Light light spells are really nice in DDO. There's not a lot of stuff that's immune to light in DDO, so really, really good um, if you want to focus on light spells, which is kind of the, I would say, probably the spell, spell type for clerics generally, along with fire, but Sun Domain, awesome. Can't go wrong, Sun Domain. Uh, the next one we'll talk about is Air. So air domain. So air is interesting. You get some great SLAs. You get like like lightning bolt and chain lightning. And unlike fire or sun domains, this does give evocation DCs as well. So plus one to the DC of your evocation spells. This increases by one at level six, 12, and 18. So you can get some higher Evo DCs than you can with fire or sun. But unlike fire, fire for example, obviously you can't bypass uh, like like lightning immunity in any way through mobs like you can with fire immunity with tiefling But uh, if you just really like lightning spells, I mean you'll do great the next one we'll talk about earth domain so earth domain You the, the big appeal of earth domain is earthquake spell, which is a druid spell Well until they introduced this in this domain years ago. It was a uniquely druid spell, but earthquake awesome CC spell Really popular. I don't know if the SLAs uh, aside from earthquake are as good i mean compared to fire or sun because you really don't get any like nuking spell like sla here like stone skins stone skin is a debuff uh, or is, i'm sorry is a buffing spell and melf's acid arrow is a single target spell so you don't really get the aoe spell damage that you get from other domains but you get earthquakes so if you want i guess more of a cc focus or you just really like earthquake or really like running druids then hey maybe you'll like this i think it's fine Okay, water is interesting as well. Water, like Earth, you don't really get that big, like, kill everything around you uh, SLA that you get from Fire or Sun with, like, something like uh, Sunburst or Firestorm, but you get some additions to your um, single target damage. So you get Greater Creeping Cold. So if you show Water Domain, you're going to be able to have an extra, uh, SL, uh, extra damage over time spell to go along with Divine Punishment. So you'll have two. Uh, clerics generally only have one, but if you go water domain, you'll have greater creeping cold and divine punishment. So that's pretty cool. You get to of cold to spam as well. Um, let's see. I, like, I think it's okay choice, particularly if you want to do like focus on boss DPS, but, uh, you're probably going to generally get more useful, uh, stuff from fire or, uh, sun domain just because you know a lot of times in ddo a lot of the game revolves around kind of just killing stuff quickly as possible and the best way to do that is generally with a like aoe damage spell so you don't really get that with water so i that's why personally i'd prefer sun or or fire but uh it's an option and it would be an okay option if if you just want to just like cold or you just want to go with uh more more dots okay so let's talk now about the remaining caster domains which are chaos, good, knowledge, law, magic, and trickery, which I think are the lower tier domains. Like, I don't think a lot of these aren't bad. It's just, I, I don't think they're generally as useful as the other caster domains I've mentioned already. So let's talk about uh, chaos first. So chaos domain, you get the chaos hammer SLA, prismatic spray SLA. Um, not bad, like good stuff, but I guess my whole thing with chaos is why not just go fire or sun instead and get more reliable DPS SLAs, you know, um, like chaos hammers, alignment dependent, prismatic spray has some RNG. So why not just go for like more reliable stuff than just nuke stuff with fire spells or light spells. That's my whole take on chaos. I mean, probably not terrible. Like they, I haven't really admittedly, I really haven't used chaos hammer since they buffed all these divine spells. Um, so we're prismatic spray. So maybe these are really good now, but just when I look at it, I'm like, why not just go fire or sun? You know, why not just get more reliable spells that aren't RNG or alignment dependent? Um, I guess let's continue on. 
Um, good. So good domain. Here we go. So good domain. Good domain gives you blade barrier SLA into fight vengeance SLA. Uh, again, I think this these. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this domain just because I, I again I think fire and and sun domain are generally going to be more useful. Like Blade Barrier, for example, is a kiting spell, so you need to lay it down and kind of run enemies through it. If you want to solo, maybe Good Domain's more appealing, but generally, you know, if you're running in groups, people aren't going to wait for you to throw down a Blade Barrier and kite the mobs back and forth, back and forth. People are generally just going to, like, nuke stuff and kill it, like, kill it now, uh, rather than just kite stuff. You know, people are generally going to be playing content faster than that. Like, they're, they're not going to want to rely on kiting. Uh, certainly, it'd be really, Blade Barrier is still going to be really nice in certain situations, but um, generally just less useful than just the AoE nuking stuff, in my opinion. Uh, knowledge Domain. So, Knowledge is okay. It gives a lot of spell penetration bonuses. You get DCs as well, plus due to the DCs of all spells. But again, the SLAs, you get Suggestion and Feeble Mind. Not going to be as useful generally as some of the other stuff you get from domains because well, one is a charm and one is a disable. But why play around with charming or disabling stuff when you can just kill it outright? Not that char charms can, I'm not saying it's not good. Uh, like stuff like charming can be really good. I'm not saying it's not. It's just generally it's like why do that when you can just kill stuff instead with AoE spells, you know? Like why mess around with that? Um, let's talk about law and trickery. So these are kind of the enchantment focused domains. So if you want to run an enchantment focused clerics, which admittedly is a very rare, very rare type of cleric. Uh, like I don't really know. I've never really seen that. Not a lot of clerics run with like an enchantment focus, but if like, usually if you want to run an enchantment focused caster, you're going to be running a wizard just because wizards have better casting options like as a cleric you're not going to have access to some of the best uh, crowd control spells things like dancing ball for example but uh in any case um it, they are options if you want again that enchantment focused clerics so law law is going to give you the greater command sla really cool but generally you know command, the thing with command which i i think it's not very popular compared to say like whole is greater command does not make mobs helpless and when mobs are not helpless they don't you don't get extra helpless damage but with greater command it does the cc but you don't get the extra damage so um not that it's not going to be still be great to have greater command sla but uh you know why not just go with i guess a, a better a better version of cc to focus on i guess would be the best way to say it um okay trickery so trickery trickery gives invisibility mind fog and charm monster mass slas again not to continue repeating myself but uh, in groups, particularly running in groups, people aren't going to really wait for you to charm stuff and then uncharm it. Most of the time, people are going to want to kill Zerg and blow everything up and move on. So it's just a slower way of progressing through quests, I would say, relying on charms. But uh, so maybe if you're running uh, particular play styles, it'll be the best choice for you. I'm just saying, generally, the way most people play DDO, you're going to want to kill stuff outright rather than deal with charming. All right. Uh, Let's see. The last one we have to talk about is magic. So magic domain. Magic is interesting because it only gives one SLA, which is chain missiles. However, um, the way I... Oh, but it also gives uh, you evocation DCs. So plus one Evo DC. So you get uh, Evo, a plus one Evo DC and an additional one at 6, 12, and 18th cleric level. But... The way I look at magic domain is it's kind of just a worse air domain. Like if you want to go magic domain, I don't understand why you wouldn't just go air, air domain because the thing with uh, magic compared to air domain is they both give Evo DCs, but air divs better SLAs, in my opinion. You're going to have more useful SLAs with uh, like chain lightning. Let's just go back to air. So you get chain lightning, lightning bolt uh, as compared to what uh, magic gets, which is just chain missile SLA. Um, but the thing that magic gets over air is you get uh, extra spell points, but I'm not a big fan personally of having enormous spell point pools in DDO. There's ways to increase your spell points through itemization. DDO generally has tons and tons of spell, um, tons and tons of restaurants, not to mention in Reaper mode, you also get uh, spell point gems, uh, lost souls that drop throughout the content. So 
I, I generally am not a fan of like pushing to high like high spell point pool because let's say you have like 3,500 spell points instead of 3,000. Unless you're dipping into that 500 extra spell points regularly and you're actually getting down to below 500 spell points on like a regular basis, it's just wasted. It's just wasted investment in your character. Uh, generally, you. you you're going to have plenty of Lost Souls to pick up, plenty of um, ways to increase your spell points through gearing, plenty of rush shrines, so, and, and also spell point potions if you need it, which do drop in games. So not a big fan of the extra spell points for magic. So that's why I'm not a huge fan of this domain. I think you're better off taking the SLAs. Not to mention, if you go magic, you're not going to get the great SLA, so you might be spending more of your spell points anyways on casting spells out of book instead of through SLA. Because you also anything on a book, you won't be able to actually boost with um, your uh, like empower maximize your your um, spell point boosting meta magic feats um, without spending more spell points. So that's another th reason your spell points even if you get more they might not go as far. So that's uh, not to mention also there's spell there's SP regen items like the ring of spell storing that's now more available in games. Things like the torque exists. So there's other ways to reach in spell points. So just a lot of ways to work around that. But uh, so yeah, uh, not not a huge fan of magic domain. But yeah, guys, I've actually covered all the domains. So I know I got into some um, very opinionated things in this video. So if you let me know if you agree or disagree with me, and if you you know if you disagree with me, that's fine. We can all still like each other. Uh, it's all good. This is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think below. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Have a good one. Take care.